Okay, guys. Hi. So, um, we are at our kettlebell swing. Okay. So, a kettlebell swing um, has a lot of elements, but basically, it has that one same thing that we come back to, uh, which is our hip hinge. All right. So, that's the most important thing that we need to remember is that it's a hip hinge. Okay. It's just a dynamic hip hinge. Okay. So it's just like a dynamic deadlift. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to set yourself, go ahead, place your feet, um, two feet. Okay. That's how far back you want to be from your kettlebell. Okay. So take your feet, put them two feet. All right. And then once you get that then go ahead, set yourself up hip width apart. Okay. All right. So once you got that position, okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to learn how to do just the most, we're gonna learn this from the bottom, okay? Um, so go ahead, plug those feet into the floor, sit those hips back and away, and what we're gonna do is grab the kettlebell and tilt it, okay? And so what we're gonna do is think about the bottom of the kettlebell having a light on the bottom, okay? And you're trying to flash that light to the front of the room, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Tilt the bell, flash the light forward, okay? And now, I'm gonna teach you how to, let me get that booty in the, the shot. <laughs> so I'm gonna teach you first, from the floor, right? Once those hips are down, push that bell back, right? We're just gonna learn how to push the bell back, okay? Keep those shoulders down and for some people, maybe you've never watched football, American football, and that's okay, but pretty much what you're doing is hiking the ball. Um, think about really trying to get your hands high up your thighs, okay? That's where you want. Slam that bell back there, <laughs> okay? Really push, okay? You see how my hands are right underneath my twat? That's where you want the bell to be, okay? Very, look, this is not pretty, okay? This is a kettlebell swing, all right? This is how you do the shit, <laughs> okay? So push that bell, keep it high. Push it back as high as you can. And now for like the first couple of times we do kettlebell swings in the workout, that's all I want you to do. I don't want you to do shit else. I don't want you to do the full swing. I want you to do that. So while everybody else is doing swings, do that. Because if you master that, your swing is going to look so much better than anyone else's. It's going to be unbelievable. They're going to be like, is that your swing? Oh my God, your swing is so nice. Girl, I know. It's so nice. Marcel told me how to do it. Right? So that's what I want you to do. Okay? So just practice that. All right? Now, once you own that, all right, once you own pushing it back that way, then we're going to learn how to take it up. Okay? All right? So, um... We'll take it up and we'll return it back down to the floor, okay? Because most people, when they get injured with kettlebell swings, they don't get injured putting the weight up. They get injured taking the weight down because they just kind of like forget that they're doing a fucking kettlebell swing and they just drop the weight down and the weight goes down and their back is rounded and they're like, oh shit, I just hurt myself, okay? So, tilt that weight back, right? We're going to do those five swings from the floor, set ourselves up. Turn our feet on, we're in that hip hinge position. We tilted that bell, right, so that it's flashing toward the front of the room. We're gonna flash it to the back. We're gonna do that five times. Five, four, three, two, and one, okay? On this next one, what we're gonna do is after we push it back, we're gonna jump from the floor. Push back, jump from the floor, okay? That jump from the floor, and then we're going to reverse, let the bell go back, and back out to the floor. So once you start doing your kettlebell swings successively, you're going to, that's how you're going to return the bell to the floor. The same way you put it out there, you're going to take it back, okay? All right, so I'll show you that again. Push back, explode up, let the bell swing back, all the way back through your legs, and then return to the floor, okay? Up, back, back, up, back, down, back, up, back, down, back, up, back, down, okay? So then, you're gonna practice that for 
like a week. And you're only going to fucking do that. That's all you're going to do. So while everybody else is doing kettlebell swings, you're just going to do that. And then all of a sudden your kettlebell swing is going to be the sexiest motherfucking kettlebell swing you've ever seen. And then everybody's going to be like, oh my god, your kettlebell swing is so great. And you're going to be like, oh my god, yes, Marcel taught me. Okay? End of the story. <laughs> Moral of the story is if you practice it this way, if you just learn bit by bit, your kettlebell swing will be awesome. But a kettlebell swing, trying to do kettlebell swings day one off one demonstration, I'm sorry, like, it's not feasible. And anyone that tells you that it is, they're lying. I'm not saying, no, they're lying. I'm not suggesting, there's no if ands about, about it, unless you're like, no, they're lying. I even took, it doesn't matter how much like experience you have with working out, it's, it's a move that should be layered, okay? You should learn it in layers. The same way you learn how to swim, you learn how to breathe first, you learn how to float next. This is something that you need to learn in layers, okay? So, now that we've done the first two layers, now we get to swing, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two swings and return the bell to the floor, okay? Two swings, return the bell to the floor, okay? Hip hinge. Push those feet into the ignition, right? Turn the engine on. Sit those hips back. Tilt your bell. Push straight back. Jump up. Let it go back down, right? All right, now we're ready to go ahead and start swinging, okay? We're going to do two swings and then return the bell to the floor. Push back. One, two. Return to the floor. Two swings, return to the floor. Push back. Up, back, one, two, and return to the floor, okay? So as you can see, I'll let that weight go straight back, right? And then I explode up a lot of the weight to go forward, and again, let that weight come back, okay? If you learn it from the floor, it will be very simple. Um, yeah. But if you try to go straight into it, you need to learn about momentum and all these things. But it's really not that complicated, guys. It's just a layered move. Deadlift position. Hip hinge position. Turn the feet on. Squeeze the glutes. You're two feet away from your bell. Boom. Ass tight. Sit those hips back. Grab that bell tight. Tilt it. Right? Flash the light to the front, flash the light to the back, flash the light to the front, flash the light to the back, right? Flash the light, flash the light, flash the light, flash the light, okay? Remember the bottom of that bell is your flashlight, okay? From the front, even though I don't think you need to see it from the front, but some people learn better this way, so, right? Hips back, to the bell, push back. All right, now just from the top, just to swing. Remember, return it to the floor the same way. It goes back and then out and down, okay? That's your kettlebell swing.